Hi, I'm Jen. And I'm Tanith. Now let's think about the skills involved in using eye gaze technology. There are a range of cognitive and motor skills needed for different activities. As with any new tool, students need opportunities and support to learn how to use an eye gaze system. Not all students may progress to using eye gaze technology as their access method for communication or full computer access. However, any progression in their eye gaze skills will improve their opportunities to use this access method for active participation in learning and daily activities. It can be helpful to have open expectations about what our students might be able to achieve with this technology. This is not a fixed progression and students may be developing skills in multiple keys at one time. The Unlocking Abilities Monitoring Sheet can help track the key skills a student is demonstrating and may be used to assist with setting goals to progress their skills. Key 1. Experimental Learning This is about the student becoming comfortable with having the device positioned near them and engaging with an activity on the screen by looking, reacting or responding. Games might have a range of sensory experiences – sights, sounds, patterns or movement. A student may not yet realise their eyes are controlling the activity. At this stage, it may help to reduce distractions, ensure the student is comfortably positioned and begin to observe their responses and looking behaviours. Key 2. Making something happen. We want the student to learn that they're controlling the activity on the screen with their eye gaze. Be aware they might have been exposed to lots of screens over their lifetime, but this is the first one they can control with their eyes. It might take time to realise they're in control. Some tips in this stage are providing varied opportunities with different games to help the students stay engaged, continue to comment on an effect they caused. For example, when you looked at the bubbles, they popped. At this stage, we can start to learn more about a student's preferences. Key 3A, targeting. At this stage, the student's needing to locate targets on the screen. Some tips for this stage could be initially using large targets, which get a motivating reaction or reward. Then try to include a mix of activities that encourage a student to find targets in different positions across the screen and targets of different sizes. Some software allows you to add your own photos or pictures to customise targets. Key 3B, dwelling. We're teaching the student to hold their gaze in one place for a certain amount of time to make a selection. The dwell time might vary between different activities. In some early games, it might be very quick. In others, the student might need to keep looking at a target for a longer period of time, such as for a video to keep playing. Yay, she's she's up. Up. Yay. Key four, choosing independently. Failure-free activities give students the opportunity to make independent choices where there is no correct answer and any choice is rewarded. Again, we might start with larger targets and introduce smaller targets as their skills improve. Other tasks may require the student to select a specific option. These skills can enable a student to communicate, have control over their environment and demonstrate their learning. In the case of communication, this could include selecting their intended message. Let's go swimming. In other activities, there may be a correct option to select. Starting out with concepts or content the student is familiar with can help minimise the cognitive demands of the activity while the student is still learning these new access skills. Key 5. Independently accessing a range of functional activities. By now the student has developed a range of skills they need to use eye gaze for whatever their goals are. This may be communication, writing, playing music, sending a text or controlling their TV, just to name a few examples. Some animals live in the water. To give students the best chance to use eye gaze, we need to give them the opportunities and support to progress through these skills. <laughs>